So hello everyone. So today we will be learning in this section about uh, data cloud, how to ingest data from our website, uh, uh, basically the behavior and data and the concept and all uh, using interactions SDK. Okay, so. Let's begin. So here, uh, initially we will need to, uh, after we log in into our data cloud instance, uh, the first step would be to go to uh, the, so we look into it uh, step by step, okay. So first we need to go to data cloud setup and there we will be finding the websites and mobile apps uh, under configuration. We need to select that, okay, and here we will be getting the uh, connector option, okay, so we need to give a connector name, uh, and here we will have two options from the drop down, which is either website or mobile app, so in our case, we will be choosing the website one, because we are trying to ingest data from the website, and once we are uh, clicking on that, right, and we have selected that, then we will be getting uh, the uh, two options in order to upload the schema and the sitemap. Okay, so we need to upload the schema. Now for the schema we will be getting uh, which would be something similar to this where we will have the card, uh, for example, card uh, uh, data will be captured under, uh, under the card data uh, stream, right, so here uh, that, uh, the cart information will be captured under the behavior and uh, data stream. So that would be engagement and what are the fields? So fields would be like date and time, uh, uh, the device ID, event ID, event type, all those things which would be uh, displayed under data explorer tab. Okay. Uh, so all the fields which are available uh, uh, for capture when we click on add to cart, uh, the behavioral data. Uh, all this uh, would be uh, uh, visible uh, in the schema. So once we upload this, it will be visible uh, in the UI as well. So coming to this, we would need to upload our sitemap code here. So before we upload our sitemap code, we need to write our sitemap. Uh, before doing that, uh, we, uh, we will also get a CDN link, right? Uh, when we create that connector, uh, website connector so we can take that uh, CDN link and we need to uh, uh, take the CDN link and we need to paste it in the website uh, source code okay so this you can either uh, 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 share the link with the web development team and they can uh, add it to the website or uh, uh, the source code and then uh, we can add the uh, app launcher okay so once we ha uh, install the Chrome app launcher, uh, the Interaction Studio, Salesforce and Interactions, uh, this uh, app launcher will be available under Chrome. So that uh, once you add, you will have two options from this drop down. So either we can choose Salesforce CDP and Interaction Studio or Salesforce CDP only. So from this drop down, we have chose this uh, Salesforce CDP only. And uh, After choosing the Salesforce CDP option from the drop down, uh, we can uh, uh, click on this sitemap button, right? Toggle, and we should come to a screen where we can write our sitemap code. So, here we can write our sitemap code, and here we can, uh, on the left hand side, we can uh, see the, uh, our results. For example, once we execute the command, we can see if our page matching is uh, uh, like, uh, but before that, uh, of course, just like uh, this personalization, right? Uh, we, uh, the page matches and all, we need the ID and all to be placed inside the source code. So once we have those placed inside the source code, uh, the page ID and all, uh, we can take that ID and we can, uh, uh, place it here okay so once we have that in the source code we can take that uh, uh, ID and we can uh, put it in the is match function 
and uh, once we click on execute the things should be displayed here on this uh, left hand side right so you will identify this as uh, current pages registration page or product details page uh, and the page matches will show that also okay now uh, once this uh, your sitemap is tested and all right you are sure that uh, this is working and all you can go back to this screen in the connector uh, which you have created recently and you can upload that sitemap here okay so once you have uploaded the sitemap uh, you can uh, what you can do is you can come to data stream and you can create a new data stream here we can see multiple options but in our case uh, we will be selecting the website uh, uh, one because we will be uh, getting the data from website right uh, so once you select that uh, here we are selecting the there will be multiple uh, options right like contact point uh, email contact point phone contact point address behavioral uh, and all those things here in our case for example we have chose uh, contact point address so all these fields what you are seeing here is actually nothing but coming from the schema so the schema which you have uploaded here that fields will be shown here and you can uh, like the uh, you can uh, then just click on okay okay and uh, after that you need to do the mapping okay in the data stream you need to do the mapping with the data model object and once the mapping is done uh, if you have done everything correctly uh, then the data should start coming into the data explorer so under data explorer you can choose the uh, this uh, uh, option and you can see all your data here so basically that is a quick overview and the, of the entire flow how we can get the data from uh, the website to data cloud using the interactions sdk so thank you hope you like the video